Now, drinking alcohol in what many people think is moderation increases the risk of cancer, according to a new scientific paper. Researchers from a number of universities across Europe found that one in 10 cancers in men and one in 33 cancers in women are probably caused by drinking. And the danger still remains, even if you give up drinking completely. Our science correspondent Tom Clark explains. As it's something of a national pastime, you don't need to tell most people drinking too much is bad for them. But not everyone enjoying a pint by the river in Surrey today knew it increased the risk of cancer. No. No. If, now that you do know there's a risk of cancer from drinking, would that change how much you drank? No, <laughs> no, not at all. Were <laughs> you aware there was a link between drinking and cancer? No. For a long time, doctors have known that cancers like throat, liver, bowel and, for women, breast cancer are linked to drinking alcohol. But how big a role the booze plays had been guesswork. This latest large-scale study gives them some idea. In the UK, we estimate that about 13,000 cases of cancer each year are caused by alcohol drinking. And that equates to about 8% of cancers in men and about 3% of cancers in women. The risk is highest for heavy drinkers, of course, but the statistics suggest even moderate drinking now or in the past can increase the chance of cancer. Doctors recommend that men drink no more than four units a day. That's two pints of beer. And women, two units. That's a glass of wine. Europe-wide, alcohol led to nearly 58,000 extra cases of cancer in men. Far fewer, 21,500 for women, the study found. In men, more than half of those cancers were in people drinking more than the recommended maximum. But in women, 80% of alcohol-related cancers were in those who drank more than a glass of wine a day. For many of us, it's the first sunny weekend of the year. We're sitting down to a hard-earned drink, and the medical community serves us up this. Evidence that even moderate drinking can increase your risk of some forms of cancer. But is that new information really going to change our behaviour? It's unlikely to, although when I saw it this morning, I thought I've been out drinking every night this week, and that's not ideal. But uh, the reality is you're going to buy a beer after work, and one beer leads to another, and it's kind of the way it goes a bit. <laughs> people like drinking, like people like to have fun, enjoying company. Doctors see room for common sense too. So the vast majority of people who are having a glass of wine tonight or a beer or two tonight will not die of an alcohol-related cancer. If you drink heavily, if you drink over, uh, heavily over a long period of time, then I suggest you seek help because you are at increased risk. But for the vast majority who are drinking normal amounts tonight, don't worry and enjoy yourself. The risk to each of us? Well, take breast cancer. A woman's lifetime risk is 12 in 100. According to this research, a glass of wine every day only slightly increases that to 13 in 100. For many, a risk worth taking while the sun shines.